Hi guys. Today we will analyze Intel stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. Intel scores bad on all fronts. It is a bad performer in the overall market and both the medium and short term pictures are negative. There should be more interesting stocks out there. Support level is around $47.80. Resistance level is around $49.50. The next resistance level is around $51. Strong resistance levels are around $52.56. The stock is currently trading near the lower end of its 52 week range, which is not a good sign. The stock has an average volume of 37 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intel is currently showing a bear flag pattern. A bear flag pattern occurs when prices pull back slightly after a strong move down. It's not advised to buy the stock now. It is advised to wait to see how this turns out. Intrinsic value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 6% per year for last 5 years. Also, we see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 25% per year for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 81% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Intel company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Intel will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 0%. Future profit margin would be low, 15%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 40%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $43. The second scenario. Intel will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 1%. Future profit margin would be average. 20%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 50%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $74. The third scenario. Intel will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 2%. Future profit margin would be high, 25%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $115. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.86. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual companies, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Intel, Analysts forecast growth rate around 3% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 14. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Intel company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Intel will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 1%. Future PE would be low, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $23. Second scenario. Intel will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. 
Future growth rate would be average, 3%. Future PE would be average, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $37. Third scenario. Intel will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 5%. Future PE would be high, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $49. As you can see, today the stock is fairly valued, $48, if we expect the company's high performance in future. The fundamentals are good. But the stock's future growth is very limited in next years. I own this stock and I buy it more from time to time, when it's around $45. But you have to remember that Intel stock is probably dead money in the short and medium term. You still collect 3% dividend per year though. Company Strengths Intel supplies the computing industry with the chips, boards, systems and software that are the primary components of computer architecture. Intel has also expanded through acquisitions. Intel has the largest revenue base in the semiconductor industry. Intel's client group continues to drive the bulk of sales growth and would be even stronger. The company has announced plans for an initial investment of more than $20 billion in the construction of two leading-edge semiconductor manufacturing facilities in Ohio. These facilities are expected to boost Intel's production and help meeting surging demand for advanced semiconductors. Intel has the financial strength, market leadership, and global diversity to weather economic storms, which may take down lesser companies. Risks A main risk for Intel, as for other chip makers, is the possibility of a general economic downturn and a corresponding dip in demand for semiconductors, inventory congestion, and a cyclical slowdown in orders. Investors were impressed with 4Q 2021 results, but concerned with cautious 2022 top-line and gross margin guidance. Intel faces the usual array of competitive risks. The revenue is expected to grow by 1% on average over the next five years. It's extremely slow. Based on estimates for the next five years, Intel will show a very negative growth in earnings per share. The EPS will decrease by 10% on average per year. It's not good. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.